This is the first time, I, I know, recent memory, or I don't know how far you go back, where we've had kind of an open run at speaker as opposed to next next person up. And I think that's uh, that's not a bad thing. Yeah, we haven't quite been in this space before. That was Texas Representative Chip Roy talking about the open house speaker race. At this hour, more candidates have now dropped out as voting continues. We've got a few faces on your screen. It is now actually down to just two possible candidates. Uh, news just within the last couple of minutes. Uh, we're down to Tom Emmer and also Mike Johnson on the left, who is a representative from Louisiana. Republicans are going to keep voting slowly dropping each of the candidates until you're left with one person who essentially the hope is they can get to 217 once they take this to a house vote. I want to bring in News Nation's Joe Khalil. He's joining us live from Capitol Hill. This part of the process is moving pretty quickly, Joe, but who's to say um, this all plays out in the house as they expect? What are you hearing? Yeah, so as I'm speaking to you now, in that room behind us, they have just now begun, uh, if not are going to begin very soon, voting on the final two people. You mentioned Tom Emmer, the man who we had been reporting is sort of the de facto front runner. He had been getting the most votes round after round. And then you've also got Mike Johnson, a popular Republican congressman from Louisiana. Those are the final two. Presumably, where do we go from here? If in this final vote, Tom Emmer wraps it up, and assuming one of them is going to, uh, then you've got, according to two uh, Republican members who I've just spoken with not so long ago, uh, they're going to do one final vote with just one person to make sure that they have 217 Republicans. Why is that number the one we keep harping on? Because 217 is the one that you need, not in this room, but on the House floor to actually become Speaker and get the gavel. I'm told if Republicans can unite and coalesce around one person ultimately, and that person has 217 votes, it's not going to be long before Republicans want to take that to the full House floor and wrap this up and get a Speaker elected today. Now, that is a big if, Marnie, and that's actually the most hopeful scenario for Republicans. As we know, we have had nominees named before. You had Steve Scalise, you had Jim Jordan. Both of them won the nomination in this room, but neither guy was able to actually get 217 votes on the House floor. It's been chaotic. It's been a long process that has been drawn out now. We're at three weeks without a Speaker of the House. So can Tom Emmer, can Mike Johnson get that support. We're going to find out here, I think, momentarily. I can tell you, just based on a lot of conversations I've had uh, over the last day or so, uh, one thing that may be working in one of these men's favor, whoever wins here, is people are sick of this. People are tired of going through this process over and over. You're going to have a lot of Republicans who we talk to today, uh, if we ask them, you know, what is the pressure like, just the fact that you haven't been able to do this yet, a lot of them will say that is weighing on people. They want to wrap this up as quickly as they can. They think enough is enough, at least a lot of them do. But the question is going to be, you only have a couple of people who can totally disrupt this. Four, five, six members can, by themselves, uh, block a Republican nominee from becoming speaker. So is that going to happen? That's going to be the big question following this vote that is happening right behind me right now. Yeah, and you don't know the answer to that question until you take it to a vote on the House floor. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.